beer, cider, pop, bang and wallop, and other nicknames given to the demon drink. So today what I'm basically doing is having a look at uh, like alcohol and that. So it's going to be about alcohol and I'm going to like discover the dangers and stuff like that and interview an, an alcoholic at the end which is pretty good because it all goes very well and nothing bad happens. Um, thanks for watching. You're watching Peter Ponders. Today's episode is a real bumper of an episode. It's jam-packed to the bloody brim with content. <laughs> second half we have an interview with an actual recovering alcoholic which goes very well welcome we're focusing on one type of drug today and this drug doesn't come in a fine white powder that you can buy in a bag from your local hoodie no no this comes in a glass and you can buy it on any high street or low street in Britain today not to put too fine a point on things but you butter believe me Alcohol can kill. Everybody who drinks alcohol will die at some point during their lifetime. Alcohol can cause memory loss. Just so you know. Fun fact: in America, the pints are different from English pints. This is because when. Everybody likes to drink alcohol, from ponders to priests. Whether you like to drink alone, or like to drink during a stock video shoot, it can be very dangerous. Watch yourself, baby. I sucked up a few cheeky alcohol pre-drinks. Then I headed to my nearest bar. A man walked into a bar and said, ow. Oh. But I walked into a bar and said, People think alcohol's a fun drug like ecstasy or heroin, but it's not. It's a bad drug. Does this look fun to you? I don't think so. I'm here to find out firsthand the real dangers of alcohol and the dangers of alcohol. <laughs> Cheers. I sucked it up with a straw. I drank three disgusting pints at the pool place. Aside from fighting in darts, pool was the game of choice for the drinkers. I decided to have a go myself. It turns out I was pretty good at it, baby. Trick shot! But again, in slow motion. Give him an a cue and he eats for a day. Give a cue to me and back of the net. Leave your trunks at home. It's time to dive into the game of pool. Hmm, snooker, yeah? I believe they call that a hole in one. It's absolute chaos on the felt. Hit that boy right in the pocket. On to the next pub. A double vodka and monster. Delicious double vodka coke. Another double vodka coke. Mmm, lovely alcohol. Everybody loves a sing song, yeah? I was feeling kind of buzzed by now, so I wanted to head to a local karaoke, okay? That last drink made me feel some kind of way, and that way was the way of the dance. Grab my coat, baby, we're off. <laughs> After a night of delicious drinking, the fresh air was making me feel rather unpleasantly ill. Not ideal. I felt very unwell, but at least I wasn't sick. After a wipe around the mouth and a quick shit in some bushes, I felt a lot better. So it's time to head to the interview. Just give it a minute, wait for me to knock, okay. and an answer like you're a normal person and we haven't met. Okay, sorry. It's all right. Thanks for meeting with me. 
It's all right. So, you're a recovering alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. I've been sober for like a few months now, I think, three months. Not very long. Mm. Getting there. You'll get there, you'll get there. Yeah. Um, so, I drink socially, and I guess when you're, when you were an alcoholic, you drink unsociably. So, tell me how alcohol actually did affect your life. I think mainly I was missing work very frequently, and and then I would be in bed like all day, pretty much like just constantly like sleeping, and like I would forget to eat most days, and um, I lost like a lot of weight. I was like I was so skinny. My girlfriend started finding me like unattractive, and like that's probably like the, the main things I can think of. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But are there any like actual downsides to drinking alcohol? Because I want to get into the real nitty gritty with this one. I mean, like the reasons are just. Like... Yeah, yeah. But you said about you stayed in bed. Ooh, uh, something else you said. I can't remember now. But you lost a load of weight. Oh, you didn't go to work, and loads of people hate going to work. Um, so it sounds like it's a good thing, and it was also a mindset thing. Then again, I thought you'd be more of a glass half full guy. Well, again, you're a drinker, probably empty, glass half empty. You just think about it, I'll leave it with you. Um, yeah, mindset stuff. Anyway, uh, I bet you've got a load of sad stories. Do you want to say, like, something depressing for the thing? Yeah, it was probably, like, when I felt my most lonely, I think. Because I... I just moved out at the time and I was, you know, I wasn't keeping in contact with my parents and stuff. Like I wouldn't, I forgot to call or text. And, uh, and as well, I, there was a lot of distance that become, that came between me and my girlfriend because, yeah. um, I'd moved like far away and I could just tell it was affecting our relationship. And then my friends, they stopped hanging out with me because of the way I was acting and stuff. And like, I just feel like, I don't know, I've never been, I'd never realized how bad it felt to be that alone. You know what I mean, every yeah. day, day in, like the distance had really come between us. And, uh, and because of my behavior, like I was just always, you know, pushing all my friends away. Yeah. And like none of them would come around the house or hang out with me or anything like that. And, um, I just, and I just, felt like, I don't know, I never experienced that amount of loneliness before, like I didn't realize it could hurt so bad to be so alone, you know what I mean? Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm not laughing at my story, I, I'm, it's, it's more uncomfortableness of anything, because it, I did ask for it, but it's not sort of the tone of the show, you know, you've seen Peter Ponders before, and you know, like, Ooh. seen the Peter Ponders... Nah. Well, you, nah. you should have done a little bit of research before. I'm not going to have a go at you now, you know, because you're three months old, uh, all that, you know, whatever. Don't want to drive you to the drink. Well, you, no one should be driving. Well, I should be driving. You're definitely not getting behind the wheel. Just a little joke. That's fine. Um, tell us the funniest drunk story you've got. We've all got one. Um, I can see it in your mind. Well, go on. Tell us your story. <laughs> He's giggling away. Go on. Um, Nothing's, like... Go on. I'm just Have you done anything recently? Uh, Everybody I, has. I know, but I've I'm got not, one. You, I'm not trying to, you must have loads. I'm not trying to remember. think about all that stuff. Cause I just, have like, you ever fallen downstairs? No, no. Slipped no. on a pavement? No, no, no. I'm not trying to really think about that stuff. I've just said all that personal stuff, you know what I mean? I thought this was supposed to be more like of a serious, like... Interview. What's this? Accent? What's this for? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is meant to be sort of like a serious interview, but you know, I've, you've seen them before, obviously. I can't remember if you said or not. Whatever, everybody's seen them now. It's like, you know, everyone be happy. What? Why be so down? You know, what's the brighter side of being an alcoholic? That's what I'm here to From find my experience, out. There isn't one. Yeah, still talking. Um. 
I was saying, like, we need to try and give, like, people out the brighter side of life. Is that a song? I was, this is not the kind of thing I was expecting. I thought, like, this is my, might be to help people in the future. Yeah, well, or... you know, help people laugh. Yeah, we'll try and look at the brighter side of life. Be merry, just not too merry, isn't it? You can look at me when I'm speaking to you. I brought you a gift. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Mary, what is it? What is it? Would you like to see the gift? Yeah, go on. <clears throat> you might know who this is. Nope. Ooh. You recognise that? No, it's not Mr. Jack Daniels. Not Johnny Walker. It's not the famous grouse. It's your favourite boy in white. Are you for Are you for real right now? Are you trying to Are you trying to like like insult me? Are you trying to make fun of me? Is that this no. what, Is that what no. this is? I thought you'd like it. I wanted to see like. You know, stare at the bottle in the face no, and go, no, no, no. no, shit no to the bottle. If I wave it around your face, does it do anything? Do you back. feel a little bit back. tempted? Look, this will be good for you. Say no. Say no. Just put it Say away. no. All right, what if I do this then? All right, what the fuck are you doing now, man? This shit's just fucking weird. Pour in you a little bit this sweet nectar. Are you you love real? it. You are blessed. Are you fucking you serious You are right blessed. Now? You love it. No, just say, no, no, hey, no, 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 oh, where are you going? No, no. Don't hit me, you bloody violent this drunk. Is just, You've only had a little sip. This is just, just say up. no. This is just fucked up. I'm now. testing you. Up. I thought it'd be a good no, end to the, the show. Out, it'll be like a victory. Where's the top? No, you can keep just... that. The top will be off in no you, time. You have anyway. an idea what you're doing right I now. I do know what I'm doing, and I'm trying to help you. Fuck this. I'm trying to help you. Don't be swearing on the No, this is just, this is just so disrespectful right now. Get out of my house. This is just so like disrespectful. Like, do you have any idea? Like, I what you're actually it'll doing be a right victory now? for you to go. Oh, I don't want any. No, so what you're doing is disrespectful. I, I didn't hear that from you. I didn't you're in you my, you're in my house and you're disrespecting oh, me. You got your fucking. camera set up. You got your little crew. I bet you hired them off fucking Gumtree or some shit. <sighs> yeah, the cameras and all that we brought down here, and you would just go. Oh, yeah, well, I, don't, I, don't yeah, well, I want you to pack them up. I don't want to do interview anymore. Stop speaking. I don't want to do interview anymore. No, I want you to pack them up and get out. Because you just yeah. This is. But the thing is, the main reason I brought this for you obviously as a gift, was for you to look at this in the face and go, no thanks. No, you know how I am about it. I want you to just get out, take it and get out. <laughs> a little cheeky smell. Go on, man. This is... <laughs> it's a little bit funny. It is it's funny. It's really not funny. It's not, it's and not I want funny. You to get no, out. it's not funny. No, I want you I didn't to get say out. it was funny. I said, this is really serious. <laughs> no, I, really, I want you to get out, you fucking, you cubed head. Looking motherfucker. Cheeky boy. Get out of my house right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pack your shit up. Okay, okay. Get I your you camera. Gonna swing for me then. Get your camera. Bloody idiot. Don't hey, want to interview me? you anyway. Stupid. You enjoyed it before? No, I'm done. Take this. Mmm. Are you for fucking real? Sweet nectar. <laughs> 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 this is an evil character, no. <laughs> Sweet nectar. <laughs>